Hello, welcome back to the latest anime news for the week ending April 23rd, 2023. Starting with some weird news, this has probably already been out there, folks have been talking about this, but uh, Magic and Muscles is getting a stage play for some reason, because everyone loves Mashla, I don't know. Uh, the anime just came out, the anime adaptation, and they're following it up with a stage play that will run in July. Uh, we now have visuals so we can actually see what it's going to look like which looks exactly like a stage play of mashla mm-hmm. um so yeah that is the thing looks familiar uh-huh i'm waiting for the ice capades version yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> exactly um moving on we do have some anime announcements and uh, announcements today um <clears throat> see here for some reason we didn't get a, an image for this uh let me see if i can find it um it did not oh there it is i just got in there kind of in a, in a weird spot um so tying the knot with amagami sis is getting a tv anime premise is a young man has had a rough <laughs> life but he's gonna go to medical school and then he goes to his foster home which wouldn't you know it it's a shrine that has three cute girls working at it that are all sisters and he has to marry one of them and take over the shrine Why? i've never heard of this concept yeah, so, yeah, ever so before never, in my life it's amazing brand new fresh new wind mind blown <laughs> <laughs> but hooray more anime exactly yes. you know hopefully it'll be cute it looks fun uh moving on to just just straight anime news um uh, well, Suzume continues just climbing up the charts. Um, it has officially made more money in China than it did in Japan <laughs> over its wow, entire run. Amazing. Uh, so it's made, let me check the numbers. It's made $109 million in China as of last Monday. It made 107 in Japan. Um, yeah, it's now the highest selling Japanese anime in China of all time. Um, yeah, it's just continuing to skyrocket good good for them another shot in the arm for anime movies yes mm-hmm. indeed exactly um meanwhile makoto shinkai um was in india promoting uh, uh suzume i love that he brought the chair that's kind of awesome yeah that's Yay! awesome that's very um, cool yeah and he was talking about how much he actually loves indian films as well i mean it was kind of promo stuff but he was saying how much he likes there's a uh a, a film called rrr or triple r over in India that's quite popular. He was saying, I want to make a film like that. Uh, it's a unique experience. I want to make films that will make Japanese viewers become Indian viewers. And will become, uh, they'll be able to come with friends and cheer out loud for the movie. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Great. So we won't cry. Oh, good. Yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> the uplifting and magical versus uplifting, magical, and sad. Oh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so the uh, and also the artist of the manga adaptation will, is also going to India to do, give a talk there. Oh, oh nice! Uh, yeah, so they're 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 pushing, they're pushing. Um, that'll be like an, at a college, you know, talk. So like different event, but still. Again, another big market. Mm-hmm. Another big market for Susan May is the U.S., where it made five million dollars its opening weekend. Yay! Yay! I was part of that. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Um, so that is a uh, definitely a good start for that seventh place overall, um, which is not too surprising. That is pretty much what Sony had projected to uh, five million dollars opening weekend. Good. Um, yeah, two point one. As uh, long as two- they're happy, that we'll get more. Exactly. <laughs> yes. 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 Two thousand locations, including <clears throat> there, there were IMAX screenings of Susan May. I wish I'd known oh, that. I would. I would have loved that. Mm. Oh, oh, yeah, would, that would have been great. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, uh, Weathering with you for reference uh, earned um, just over five million dollars in its first six days, back in January 2020. Okay. So mm-hmm. yeah, cool. Let's see here, um, not the only anime film on the docket though. The first slam dunk film um, <laughs> made 13 million dollars in its first day in China. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <sighs> uh, let me let me just check. Uh, that makes it. How much? Um, um, I don't have a total here, but it's made a lot of money. Um, it made thirty-five million in South Korea. Um, it made nine nine and a half million in its opening weekend in Japan. 
So yeah, it continues to rake it in. Man. Um, and so they've, they've announced they are going to bring it over to the U.S. Interesting. People love basketball, I mm -hmm. guess. Who knew? Um, yeah, coming to theaters this year in the U.S. Wow. Cool. Also not the only anime movie on the docket. <laughs> uh, the Detective Conan film um, made $23 million in its first uh, three days <laughs> in theaters. <laughs> series. It's a great little series. Wow. Yeah. Um, number one in its opening weekend, um, 2.1 million tickets. 64% um, more than in its first three days than the previous theater Conan film. Jeez. Well, yeah. It's time to start sitting down and me watch some Detective Conan. Exactly. Yeah, we need to do that. Uh, Toho wants this film to uh, make 10 billion yen or about $100 million and looks like it. Yeah. <laughs> On its entirely way. possible, exactly. Um, moving away from anime films for a second, um, there is an upcoming Macross Frontier CGI stage show in the style of the Hatsune Miku concerts. Very cool. Uh, yeah. be their first in person CG concert called Macross F Pop Up Stage coming uh June 24th through August 27th in Tokyo, commemorating the 15th anniversary of the Macross Frontier anime. I feel wow. old, yeah. it will feature. Cheryl Nome and Ronka Lee as life-size 3D CG characters performing different songs for each performance. Some determined by audience votes, of course. Oh, wow. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and uh, this is the key visual, which I believe will also be... Well, it's selling tickets with images of the characters. I'm not sure if it's this image specifically. Um, and uh, yeah, that's the thing. So we'll be setting up our Patreon accounts, folks. So <laughs> wherever yeah. it shows up, we'll be able to get there to see it. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully, it'll make a tour here like Miku did. I mean, yeah. Same. Um, the nice thing about the 3D CG stuff is it's just moving technology. You yeah, know? right. Um, yeah. You don't have to do the whole, you know, all the stuff you have to do for a full stage show. So, who knows? Pack the actresses in a big box, then send them off <laughs> wherever else, and you're fine. Exactly. Uh, also, this week, stories that we wanted to mention, at least in passing. Uh, the Kyoto Animation Arson case will begin pre-trial May 8th. Um, uh, it's taken a while. It's yeah. taken quite a while. Uh, main trial should start take place between early September and late December. Jeez. Um, and then that'll decide on a specific schedule and all that kind of stuff. So, yeah. Uh, for those who remember, it was July 18th, 2019 mm -hmm. when that fire broke out. Uh, and then finally, I mean, this is just, I mean, it's, it's manga, not anime, but still kind of fun. Uh, Boys Over Flowers is now the most published shoujo manga of all time, according to the Guinness World Records. Um, the most published <laughs> copies of shoujo manga series written by a single author, 59,409,000 copies printed and in circulation as of November. Wow. <clears throat> Dang. Wow. Good for them. Yeah. <clears throat> Pretty I feel like, impressive. Feel like it's one piece. I haven't actually yeah. touched it yet. I'm yeah. Like, oh. <laughs> um, I have DVD one. Ah, uh, when it wow. came out. Yeah. Wow. Um, wow. I, I got to have it. I really enjoyed that that show. It's it's a it's a fun thing. Huh. Um, all right, let us move along into the breakdown. Uh, let's see, which I do not have a slide for. I forgot to do that, but we'll we'll, we'll do that at some point. It's okay. Um, let's see here. Um, let's talk about, we got to talk about Mashla, really. We just do. <laughs> yeah. The show That's... that looks like something else. I, I, it's on the tip of my tongue. It looks like what kind you, of something. What are you talking I, about? I, it's, it just, yeah. It's, you it's, know, it's, I feel like, I feel it just something there, something about it. It's so it's familiar quick to the stage play. I mean, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> It, it it just rolled out as an anime. anime They're not even on like episode three. I mean, I <laughs> like, so, so is this I'm... a wildly popular franchise that just has generated this much groundswell that people are like, oh, we love the manga, we love the well, novel, we love whatever, and we now need a stage play. Yeah. Um, there are. It started. In, the manga started in 2020. Okay. So you okay. know, um, there mm -hmm. are 16 volumes so far. So it's okay. that's a lot. Okay, you got some 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 subject there. Okay, definitely. Um, 
So I don't know. Let me see. Um, oh, um, it is also on its final arc, apparently. Okay. Uh, so that could also be pushing it. Right. Uh, looking for any other um, news <laughs> items on there. I'm not sure. Um, it's a Shueisha title, obviously. Um, I'm just really surprised. feels like they yeah. pushed this to stage play. They real quick, really. You know, I, it, yeah. well, I mean, it. I think it's probably one of those things where they actually plan to do this at the same time at the anime. Yeah, I, 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 I mean, of course. Yeah, 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 yeah. You Definitely. know, I mean, they they had to. I I think they're just capitalizing on the train of the final mm -hmm. arc, and they're just. Hey, let's just you know move and train, try and move and train this thing, mm -hmm. and just throw like, it all. At the yeah, same throw time. it at, at yeah, yeah. and see see what sticks. And it's uh, it's yeah. also interesting to me that um, it's it's running July fourth through eleventh, and then fifteenth through seventeenth at two different um, events. That's not much. No. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I and granted that may be common for animated stage play adaptations where it's you know you get you know two weeks basically. Um, but yeah, I mean it looks like the characters pretty much. Yep. I don't know. Yep. Um, yeah. do, do we do we get the I I almost want to see this just so if I can see if he can just be the you know just the dumbed down version of <laughs> so you know that's the question. Like you know. We all know what this character is like. How do you base a stage play off of that character? Yeah, like, this feels like the most dull protagonist. Yes. Yeah, uh -huh. it just feels it's, like it's not going to translate to stage play well. How much money did you watch a duller walking back and forth across the stage? I mean, say, and just... also for only a two week run, how much are you investing in mm -hmm. flexing this this mm -hmm. protagonist cut? Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because his thing is like bashing things physically. So it's like, yeah. you've got a lot of prop damage that's going to be happening. <laughs> yeah. is, it, like, is the return God. on this going to be that great? Yeah. It's weird. And the, obviously the derivative nature of the actual show itself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Are you going to have a lot of people that are going to rave about it? Are you going to have a lot of people that are coming to be like, yes, this is exactly the knockoff of what we thought it was. <laughs> and we're, we're going to yes. tell all of our friends like, nah, it ain't worth it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I, I, you know, I don't know. I, I can't see, you know, sitting there watching this and just going, well, he's just as every bit as stupid on stage as he is on the anime. And, mm -hmm. um, wow. Yeah. How much, how much were the set pieces that they have to destroy and then put back together every night? Yeah. <laughs> that maybe that actually may be the honest to God that, that may be the, uh, mm. reason why for the short run. Yeah. Because if they have to, because you have, well, I mean, it's in the picture right there. He's crushing um, mm -hmm. the wand. Yeah. So, you know, there's only so much prop stuff that you can make that you can make it break away and then yeah. put it back together mm -hmm. again. Yeah. So that it, there just may be a cost to the show that, that just, you know, they just can't yeah. do it for in that, for a long time. And run. in fairness, you know, it would probably would not be a good idea to announce a six month run. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> So it's like okay, we're we're on for you know five nights total. Everyone will show up come and we're done. It. Yeah, come and get it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, if it goes well, do we then get the ice capades? Do we then get the musical? Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, is yeah. this is this the test for how fast can we go from manga to anime to stage play to the next thing? Yeah. Like, oh, I mean, the other question too is: is this just the other thing you do? Like everything gets a stage play. Right. You know, it, it feels at this point. Agami sis, whatever it is, it's getting an anime <laughs> and a stage play at the same yeah. time. Like, oh no, 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 not everything needs this. I, I, I and I do Break feel away for that one. Yeah, <laughs> jeez. Um, oh my <laughs> goodness gracious! And I do feel that much like the anime uh, that we just saw this past week, mm. I really do feel like they're going to capitalize on all the show that this looks like. Um, yeah. you know, I, I, those fans are Harry Potter. Yes, exactly. That they're going to come in and want to see this because it looks like mm -hmm. the thing that they yeah. love. Yeah, yeah, you know? definitely. Mm -hmm. yeah, whatever. Um, will they be excited or will they be disappointed? Actually, actually, no. You know, it's not going to be S Ice Cabez that's going to be next for this thing. It's going to be a theme park. <laughs> oh <Ooh>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
Knock, oh. knock, knock. We are Universal Studios. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. This is the magicking universe of Mary Goddard. Right. It's nothing yeah, right. to do with any of your uh, yeah. uh, uh, licenses. This is there totally new a, and inventive. Um, <laughs> there, there is a Bollywood film called Hari Potar. Oh, boy. <laughs> and um, they we went to court over it. Like, they got sued. Uh, and the judge was like, they got just different enough. Yeah. Like, I, we, we, you know, if, if they were an inch closer, you, we would have got, got them. But no, it's just, yeah. it's just clearly derivative enough or you know, periodic enough. It's like, oh. And I think um, that's probably where this lays. Is like, yeah. It's in that sort of gray area where yeah. it's very obvious, but not mm-hmm. entirely. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, well, not yeah. ripping on anybody else. Just close. Just kind of Exactly. Close. Uh, let's talk Susie May. Yes. Um, because, yeah. my goodness, um, mm-hmm. uh, we've all seen this movie and we're yep. all, we all rather like it. Yes. yes. Um, it's quite the movie. Um, and it's doing well everywhere. Thank goodness, because I got really worried with the preview release. I think yeah. last week we said it was like it only made 680,000. Mm-hmm. Where it was like, oh boy. Yeah. But that was pre release. Now we're into full release. It's like, yes, we're picking up Steam places. It's like, good, yeah. good, 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 good. Well, it, you know, it, it like Brent said it earlier, it, it made the goal. Yeah. So that's everything else's cake. So, mm-hmm. every, you know, it's icing. And, um, it, and which is which is good, and I and I'm like I'm like literally just for me I'm just like I I, I paid my nineteen dollars to <laughs> go see this movie I contributed, um, mm-hmm. but you know it's you're an it's, anime yeah. supporter. There we go. Oh. Where's my T-shirt? Anyway, um, <laughs> so but you know like like going into the theater and and watching it and like at first being the only person there and then having an elderly couple will come in and watch it, <laughs> with me, which is kind of amusing. Um, but you know, now that it's hit its five million, which means that uh oh, I think we're losing Steve there, and they're gonna they're gonna want to bring it in. Uh, you know, other people are gonna want to steamroll uh, this, I think. Yeah, uh, uh, Steve, could you repeat that? You you broke up for a second. Oh, okay. No, I'm just saying that, uh, now that it's hit its five million mark, um, it's going to hopefully do a little bit more of a steamroll job now that people are mm-hmm. like, oh, it's out here and people are liking it. Yeah. Because that, I mean, what you've got on screen is just a taste of what you'll get mm-hmm. on the screen. Yeah. Because mm-hmm. this, uh, uh, folks, if you can get to the movie theater to see this, even if it's not an IMAX screen, which would have been awesome. Yeah. Um, IMAX would have been really cool. <laughs> this is just, you know, it's Shinkai, so it's visually stunning, and the backgrounds yeah. are always, always mm-hmm. amazing. And in this one particular one, you're just going to be like, the whole screen, you're just like, okay, can we just freeze it here so I can just like <laughs> just do a slow pan with my head across the screen? Mm-hmm. This is just so beautiful. Oh, man, yeah. <laughs> it's nuts. Um, so what do we think, like, do you think this is going to impact the movies that Shinkai makes in the future? Um, his films have been very Japanese. Um, you know, it, 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 they feel pretty much about, I mean, it's about an earthquake. <laughs> yeah. It's really bad. That's a pretty Japanese thing. Um, you know, it's, it's very much about Japanese high schoolers doing their thing. Um, do you think he's going to shift around? There's actually a news story, um, this week that said that he originally wanted this to be two girls, um, where it's going to be a road trip with two different girls who are doing all this. Its producer said, "Your fans like romance between a boy and a girl too much. You can't do that." <laughs> <laughs> denied, basically. Wow, um, corporate notes. Denied. Nice. Yeah, pretty much that. Um, and so he said, "All right, well, I'll make him a chair. So at least it's not yeah. going to be that." <laughs> way. I I don't think it's a touching, ever... warm story of a girl in her chair. chair. Yeah. <laughs> what? Well, there was that moment. No. Um. Uh. I don't think he's gonna really abandon mm-hmm. it being a Japanese movie. You know, mm-hmm. you know, we talked about him liking Indian movies and wanting to kind of do a version of that. Mm-hmm. Um, I think he could probably do something that would be inclusive for Americans to mm-hmm. to see this. And I think if anything that that this is gonna sell the point is is that when you realize what the event was, that was a mm-hmm. pretty historic <clears throat> event yeah. that that yeah. drug that can drag a lot of people in. But um 
I think by virtue of the fact that we have had Mugen Train and so many other movies that are coming over here and hitting their budgets mm -hmm. and then doing on top of that, I think yeah. that we there's definitely going to be a core audience that's just going to be like to the rest of the people and they're going to be like during the movie. Okay, so they actually do wear that. <laughs> you know, or, you know, mm -hmm. that's something they actually eat. Yes. <laughs> um <laughs> You know, yeah. so I, I think you'll you'll get a little bit of that, but well, I think, no, I think I kinda, as, as we've talked about before, yeah. it's like thirty years ago. Mm. I could see that being like a discussion where you know somebody who's in you know upper echelons of Hollywood kind of thing mm -hmm. is like, I don't know if this is going to sell in America. Mm -hmm. There's just not you know they don't really understand things that much. If but I think we train world. Right. right, and I think we live now in a time, and, we, and like I said, we've talked about before, where it's like yeah. Naruto, Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh, the right. card games, the animes. There is a base level understanding and awareness of an exposure mm -hmm. to, yeah, that I don't think that Shinkai, the way he makes the films that mm -hmm. aren't Japanese, mm -hmm. the universal sort of things that they discuss of loss and tragedy and dealing mm -hmm. with trauma and coping right. and how you move on and interaction between people and all these, the, you know, the community, the the wa, mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the the concept of wa might not be there, but the idea of like you know yeah. helping people in need and being there to assist one another is mm -hmm. that's nothing that's particularly Japanese. Sure, that right. somebody would sit down and watch this film and be like, I just can't understand it from a cultural perspective. Mm -hmm. it's like, yeah, no, there's a lot of universals in this, mm -hmm. and I think a lot of all of the exposure that we've had now over the at least the last 20 years certainly much mm. more intensely in the last 10 years yeah i think any of these films are going to be able to play out well mm. in america yeah. that it will be the audience is going to get that and it's not going to be so exclusive let me ask you guys this um let's say that shinkai announces this was the last of his disaster trilogy right so we have um uh, your name, Weathering With You, Susan May. And he goes, my next film is going to be something a little different. What would you want that to be? Right? It's not going to be a completely, you know, blank slate. But he says, it's not going to be a, you know, disaster-focused movie. What would you like Shinkai to do next? Because for me, I would love to see him go back to something like The Garden of Words. I would like to yeah. see just a modern relational <laughs> you know dramatic comedy kind of a story nothing i love his fantastic stuff but i'm i'm he he's so delicately balanced all of those elements with that yeah. and made it entrancing despite mm -hmm. it just being you know a modern story of two people it's it's a hallmark movie <laughs> yeah kind yeah. of you know yeah but it yeah. works so incredibly well well how about would you consider it a uh, see Mm. Now that you're saying that, it's like the idea coming across my head. It's like, okay, if I'm not going to do a disaster film, could I do something that is more culturally relevant mm. to not disaster, but a mm. slow disaster? Oh, okay. So, a film where he has protagonist Kun, protagonist Chan, or mm -hmm. some event uh, yeah. that, that draws people together that is older 30s, oh. 40s people, mm -hmm. and them watching Ooh. you know their parents aging and mm. watching an, an aging community and not seeing as uh, many children and like yeah. addressing that kind of issue of like well i had always wanted my career mm. and i had never thought about taking time to have kids mm. and then seeing like a relation develop where people make a choice to actually have kids even though it's you know the mm -hmm. aging population is making things harder jobs are not as readily available blah, 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 whatever how you want to do this but something where yeah. it's like it's not disastery right but it is it is a deep soul searching about mm -hmm. what things you want for yourself and mm -hmm. what things are good for the society in general yeah kind so, of doing so something basically, like that. basically yeah. you want him to do ikaru um, i don't know i've not seen ikaru which which one is ikaru I ikaru is um is, is a Kurosawa movie. Um, it has the leader of the Seven Samurai from the Seven Samurai movie. Oh, wow. um, and in there, and he is dying of cancer, and his children are. Oh, buried. yes, I see. Yes. This. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And it, it is. I mean, Ooh. that would be totally up Shinkai's alley. And and yeah. yes, and yes, John, you would be be crumpled into the fetal position. Oh, <laughs> sorry, make me cry. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um. 
so I could totally see him doing something along like, yeah. but I think it fits what you were saying, John. Yeah. That's what it sounds like to me. Kind of, mm -hmm. um, I I have like actually, actually like one like general kind of idea of what kind of mm -hmm. movie he would like to do, and one's actually very specific. I'll go with the specific one. Remember the 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 sci-fi one he made about communication? Uh, Boys of the Star. Yeah, and it was yeah. like a forty minute. I would like yeah. him to redo that as a as a two hour movie. Wow! Yeah. Mm, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's not a disaster. It's just yeah. That's that story of communication because that's what he does mm -hmm. so so right. so so yeah. very well. Mm -hmm. I I I and I think the other I think in general I think um and, and this is probably along John's uh mm -hmm. you know concept where we're talking about moving on and mm -hmm. you know you know. <clears throat> when a lot of animated movies are about saving the family business mm. Mm -hmm. he doesn't really do those things that True. way mm. i would and i think it would be natural for him to do the, the family business is not saved mm -hmm. and moving on from that yeah like the people like you know john was saying making the decision of going i can't do this yeah but I can do that. Mm -hmm. And right. these are yeah. the repercussions and having to deal with those relationships. And, mm -hmm. you know, it's kind of, and it would be something of like, oh gosh, what was the anime of it? The, the candy store with the, with the little orphan girl. Um, like, Diamond. If, Diamond. But like, just say this has been going on for five generations mm -hmm. and, this, and the sixth generation has called it quits. And yeah. how do you, how do you deal with that and, and mm -hmm. move on? Yeah. So you're not the cafe goddesses where he takes grandma's business over with the girls, but somebody who's right. like, no, I actually am bulldozing. Uh, it was yeah, I love that. Um, it, it would be really, I, I, I can see the opening sequence of just, you know, the guy standing there, you know, in front of the, the family shop, you know, and then he just locks the door. Yeah. You know, and, and well, we talked away. about, you know, so many times about the nobility of failure. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? It's like the the family thing failed. Now, how do you rise from that? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I can see um, that. Be, that would, I, I like that. I saw some really interesting stuff about folks, um, ironically, after the Tohoku disaster, um, of folks that just like after that, like they lost everything. And so, like, they started a, a, a bar and were like, what I really needed at that time was that little community of the people who all got together in that, you know, six seat bar wherever right that was wiped away and so i started something like that for myself in a completely different city but just that that's you know that was my new direction in life yeah never 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 did anything in the hospitality industry before but this was my thing and now i'm gonna go in that direction you really interesting to cover that kind of stuff yeah, yeah. cool um and if anybody picks these ideas up they are ours we'll gladly take yeah. the royalty checks yes. thank you mm -hmm. yes indeed um like the guy who's suing over lord of the rings i don't know if you uh, heard of that story oh lord why um okay we're gonna we do a quick side anime thing because this is hilarious wow. so um i'm gonna paraphrase there is a an individual who is suing uh amazon because after lord of the rings came out he wrote his own series of fantasy novels inspired by lord of the rings um and he sent them to jrr tolkien who didn't have much to say oddly um and then but now the lord of the rings movies have the lord of the rings tv shows come out on amazon and they're exactly like his books and so he wants a quarter of a billion dollars please <laughs> god i wish it was that easy Exactly. <laughs> wow. Jeez. Yeah, two hundred fifty million dollars is what he's asking for to, to, because he ripped off his fanfic. <laughs> maybe they'll settle out for a hundred. Yeah. You know? Maybe that's or, or, or maybe you know? they'll say it was fanfic on something that was not yours. So <laughs> no. <laughs> Come on, just okay. How about fifty million? Yeah, yeah, we'll just, sure. Oh, just, okay. Twenty-five Darn million, and I'll just let it all go. Oh, okay, <laughs> sure. Oh dear. Um, it's one less gassing up the rocket. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> um, let's talk slam dunk. Um, because my goodness, um, it's coming to theaters in the U.S. Cool. 
didn't we just talk about this last week too? I think you'd said something about how mm-hmm. South Korea slam dunk was like insanely popular. Mm-hmm. Oh, um, yeah. Let's see here. I am pulling up the, the data now. Um, it is the 25th highest earning film of all time in Japan. <sighs> Not just anime. Um, it, basketball. Yeah. Um, it's earned yeah. just under $100 million in Japan. Um, number one, it's opening weekend. Um, 1.2 million tickets. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. Um, uh, 847,000 tickets. Yeah. Um, it's just kind of insane. So um, when is Have it you guys seen there? any part of Slam Dunk? Don't think so. No. It's got to be. I mean, there's got to be something wildly fantastic about it to get people yeah. like, just dialed in. Mm-hmm. Of so, then, so Doraemon when... films also do great. And I've never <laughs> seen Doraemon, so I have no idea. <laughs> Um, so so when is it coming coming over thereabouts? Uh, this year is always this done. year. Sometime amorphous yeah. this year. Mm-hmm. I you know I got to tell you you know as as we were talking about earlier you know this will be one of those anime movies where it's not going to be important about knowing Japanese culture. It's going to be about this is going right. to be about basketball. the sport. Yeah. It's about basketball, and we have insane people who love basketball. I am not yes, one of them, <laughs> but um, you know, I'm more of a football guy. But uh, oh, anyway, missed out by not releasing it during March for March. Uh, that's why I was going to yeah. go with. That's that why, why I was asking. <laughs> so, but but to the point is that you know, you know, as people know about anime they're going to go to this and then this is going to be one of those cowboy bebops where i don't know what the hell anime is i mean what, yeah. what do i care oh this thing is wonderful i don't know what mm-hmm. anime this is but well you like basketball right yeah let's check it out very well could be the thing that it's like oh my god this is the best thing ever but it might be a just a really particularly niche market of yeah. people who enjoy basketball um so. it should also be pointed out and i, I had forgotten this um the screen, uh, the, the screenplay is written by, and it is directed by the mangaka. Oh wow! Oh wow! <laughs> so so it's, that's it's one of the reasons why it's a big deal. True to what it is. So. <laughs> um, so for Slam Dunk fans, sure, I'm sure every single one of them were in theaters. Yeah, um, no that joke. totally wow. makes sense. Yeah, that's that's kind of nuts. Is there a blue um, lock film coming? <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, that's that's kind of nuts. Um, so yeah, who who knows? He also did Vagabond. I forgot that. Oh the Vagabond my gosh! Movie. I hadn't thought yeah. about that in no, forever. That is, yeah, that's that. that's that's him. Wow. Um, so yeah, I just I have a tough time imagining sports anime having you know an appeal over here. But the thing is, you're not going here to watch a sports anime TV series that's four five hundred episodes long. You know, you're like, there's a either it's there's a basketball anime movie, sure, or I've heard of Slam Dunk. I'll drop you know fifteen bucks and go see that see it in theaters. Well, well, here's here's the other thing though, <clears throat> in support of that, how much did Space Jam and Space Jam Two make? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I hadn't thought about that. It's, it's going to be those people. It's going to be those people that are going to mm-hmm. watch this. Yep. Yep. You're right. <clears throat> Well, I'll be I'll be honest. Which is not sad. It's like yeah. it's like that that first Otakon that we went to, Brent, and I bought the little Umarochan squishy, mm. like mm-hmm. stress squishy for five bucks. Yeah. I turned around to you and went <laughs> like I spent five dollars on anime. I'm a supporter. <laughs> 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 I, I I'm at a point where it's like mm. I don't know anything about this, but I feel like compelled to go see it in a theater <laughs> to see a what it's about, which I could watch mm-hmm. the series, I could see it, yeah, yeah, but just to right. see what the film is like, mm-hmm. and also to be a recorded. Oh, this other anime film did pretty good. You know, mm-hmm. it's like ah, oh, yeah. that's this feel. I feel like that compulsion to be like I might not enjoy it that much since I'm not a basketball fan, but mm-hmm. I really like the idea that if it does well, we'll get other mm. movies. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you there. Um, so we'll see more anime, please. Basically. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. More anime films that we wouldn't have expected. Not that yeah. Shinkai or uh, mm-hmm. Oshi or any of the you know the other Miyazaki. Um, oh, not that God. those aren't great. Can you imagine that, that double feature? Films. Can you imagine no, that double slam feature? Slam Dunk and Totoro. <laughs> no, no, Slam Dunk and the Egg. Um, yeah, Angel's Egg. <laughs> Angel's so egg. that's what I'm thinking. You know, what if Oshi <laughs> makes a film now? 
<laughs> wow. You know, See, if these the director making, of Ghost in the Shell. Yeah, if these things keep making some Man. dough, it's like we could get yeah. unexpected properties making mm -hmm. films. And I'm like, yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah. We okay. Can that's what I'm, that is, that's my prediction. We're going to get Ghost in the Shell 3. We very well because, yeah. because whoever owns that is going to go to she and go you make this now i don't care here's a bucket of money because that's going to go into theaters and make 150 million dollars okay i'm going to start this check with a one and a comma <laughs> zero tell me when to stop zero zero <laughs> zero, zero yeah just keep going are yep. you familiar with the concept of a google <laughs> <laughs> not sure i can write that many zeros keep writing <laughs> But I mean, that's the kind of yeah. idea that I'd like mm -hmm. to see is like where you get, right. you know, not only just the big name people who are going to be like, well, you know what? Now is a time where it's profitability. Mm -hmm. We can afford to do a big budget, something or other yeah. that I've always wanted to do. But we can also get more obscure up and coming folks where it's just like, mm -hmm. hey, you know what? We've yeah. worked well with, um, you know, the Suzume thing and Slam Dunk did great. So and we got Detective Conan coming. So sure let's take something we'll, we'll run with that one and see how it runs it, it mm -hmm. did well at the palm to or it did yeah, well at sundance and now we're just going to go <laughs> national I, I, I'm, cool. I'm not gonna lie i would love to see and this is probably you guys have never heard, i think i've mentioned it before mm. but kurosagi corpse service right it's mm. just begging for an anime and mm. this would just be really nice if they could just go to the guy to to uh i forget who who who, who did the mm. manga and just gave him a check and said, "Let us do the thing and just mm, have, make have it done. Let's make a movie." Yeah, I would. I would. Oh my god! I would. I probably die in the theater by the end credits, <laughs> but just because I'd be so happy to see it. Mm -hmm. um, but no, that that would be that would that would be my hope. Uh, like mm -hmm. y'all, just to, you know, get more of these titles because that is an obscure title. Yeah, <clears throat> but can you imagine that? Like, like, what if we get more Ranma movies? What if we get yeah more? You know. Um, not just Ghost in the Shell. What, what if we get, um, gosh, um, Kiss Berserker? <laughs> <laughs> no, it's <laughs> a very particular type of audience. No, no. <laughs> very, I have a worse one, but I'm not going to say it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, it's not, yeah, no. begins with legend. Um, no, hey, uh, that already was in theaters in a portion, yeah. at least not in its entirety, but by portion. <laughs> that is so. true. Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, um, um, what was that anime film? Cause I'm thinking, oh yeah. Lonely Castle in the Mirror. So that's the thing. Like, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's the thing G kids announced that they're licensing. This is kind yep. of some children's movie. We're getting more of that. So <gasps> let's all go and support those things as well. <clears throat> yeah. What if we get a, what, what if they allow Pippi Longstocking? Ghibli to do Ooh, Miyazaki would come out of his yeah, retirement right, for that. Yes. Oh, good night. You would. Yes. <laughs> Miyazaki, the Michael Jordan of animation. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're getting How Do You Live? So, yep. you know, yeah. he's, he's getting his adaptations done. Who knows? Yeah. Um, exciting times. Yes. Yes. Indeed. Uh, all right. Now. That'll do it for us. Thank you all for watching. That's all the news for this week. See you all next week. Sayonara. Kiss to Papa.